So today we're talking about stools. Now, I kind of like the four-legged bar stool myself. I find it's very stable, it's, uh, it's easy to sit on, and… Uh, what? Oh, we're not talking about that kind of stool? Oh… And now for a different kind of stool. 12 things your poop says about your health. Well, as gross as it may sound, the color and shape of your stool can reveal a lot about your health. Any changes you might notice can be a sign of a serious disease. Don't ignore them. Watch this video till the end to take another step toward good health. Poop color. As you probably know, the normal color of stool is brown. It may vary slightly from time to time depending on what you eat. But a sudden color change for no obvious reason can be a warning sign. So let's find out what's what. White Whitish, grayish, or clay-colored stool indicates a lack of bile. Bile is what makes normal poop brown. Lighter poop may hint at problems with the liver and gallbladder, as these are organs where bile is produced and stored. It can be anything from blocked bile ducts and gallstones to cirrhosis. Gallstones can give you some serious abdominal pain or show no signs of their existence, making it trickier to diagnose. As for cirrhosis, it gives your liver irreversible damage, so early detection of it could be life-saving. White mucus on brown stool may be a sign of Crohn's disease, which is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease. Number 2. Green Are you a fan of spinach, kale, and broccoli? Or maybe your diet contains avocados, cucumbers, zucchini, kiwis, and other green foods. Then you probably don't have a reason to worry about green poop. A green color may be caused by the consumption of vegetables rich in chlorophyll, which makes them green, or green food coloring in drinks and iron supplements. If food is not the reason, it means your stool passed the digestive tract too quickly and didn't have time to get enough bile and bilirubin. Are you guys still with me on this trek through the poop? Great! Number 3. Yellow Have you noticed that your stool looks yellowish, is covered in greasy film, and even leaves drops of oil in the toilet bowl? Yellow stool can be a sign of blocked bile ducts and poor fat absorption. When your digestive system fails to break down food the way it should, too much fat goes out with your stool. Another reason is a lack of enzymes produced by the pancreas, which may hint at chronic pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, and celiac disease. People who have celiac disease can eat gluten, so bread and pasta, along with other foods rich in gluten, give their intestines a hard time. But don't panic! Yellow poop can also be a sign that you ate too many carrots and had a lot of yellow-colored drinks. Yes, they could make your poop look golden. Number 4. Black Number 4. Black stool may appear because of medicine intake, like aspirin, ibuprofen, and iron supplements, or bleeding in the intestines. The latter is obviously a reason to contact your doctor immediately. A more common cause, again, lies in the food you eat. Black and blue foods like blueberries, licorice, dark chocolate cookies, and grape juice can give this shade to your feces. Iron supplements and nicotine could also be the cause of that poop change in color. If black and blue foods as well as iron supplements are not part of your diet, then you should probably be alarmed. Number 5. Red Red stool is usually influenced by your diet. Beets, jello, colored drinks, tomatoes… Just think about what you've consumed recently. Two bowls of tomato soup? <laughs> well, you shouldn't be surprised! However, if food is not the cause, it's time to call your doctor. Blood in your poop is obviously an alarming sign. It may be an anal fistula or something more serious like hemorrhoids, ulcerative colitis, or even cancer. That's the word no one likes to hear. Before you get really scared, Note that bowel cancer normally has other symptoms as well, such as losing weight, 
feeling extremely tired and breathless, and needing to strain as if you wanted to go number 2 even after you've just done it. Shape If you still don't believe that watching your stool is normal, some scientific research may convince you. To distinguish the types of poop and help people stay healthy, scientists from the Bristol Royal Infirmary created the Bristol Stool Chart. Wow, say that five times real fast. It describes seven types of feces and what they mean. Number 1. If you see separate solid lumps reminiscent of nuts or goat feces in your toilet bowl, it is likely a sign of severe constipation. This type of stool means your body lacks fiber. To fix it, try to consume more fiber-rich products like fresh fruit and vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, whole wheat pasta, beans and lentils. Yum! According to the American Dietetic Association, Americans get about 0.5 ounces of fiber a day, which is much less than we actually need. The optimum amount is 1 ounce a day for women under 51 and 1.3 ounces a day for men of the same age. Also, if you experience constipation, don't forget about the natural laxative, prunes. Those dried plums have enough sorbitol in them for a good desired effect. Mm -hmm. Number 2. Sausage-shaped, large, and lumpy poop speaks of constipation. This type of stool is also caused by a lack of fiber. Non-dietary reasons for constipation may include long-term anti-diarrhea medicine intake and lack of physical activity. The advice is to eat more fruits and vegetables and perform exercises. It will help you avoid constipation because your body will need less time to move food all the way through the large intestine. Aerobic exercise like running, jogging, or swimming also makes your heart beat and breathing faster which means better natural contraction of muscles involved in the digestion process. Don't exercise right after a big meal, though. Wait for an hour to avoid bloating and excess gas. Stretching, certain yoga positions, and even simply walking at least 15 minutes a day can help healthy digestion. Number 3. If cracked, sausage-shaped poop is what you usually have, there are no reasons to worry. That's a normal stool. You're doing just fine. Don't forget to walk and drink more water. Since constipation is related to dehydration in the colon, you need to make sure you're drinking lots of water. When your body is properly hydrated, less water will be withdrawn from the colon. This will keep your stool soft and easy to pass. Just what we all need. Number 4. If you stand with those whose feces are soft, sausage-shaped and smooth, congratulations! Your stool is as perfect as a stool can be. Try to maintain a balanced diet and avoid stressful situations to keep things as great as they are. We all know that feeling when you can't let yourself go on a bathroom break during an important meeting, exam, or family event. Suppressing your urge to use the toilet is bad for you, since if you keep it tight once and twice and thrice, constipation may become permanent. Not to give yourself that constipation, try to avoid stress and keep healthy. Number 5. Soft lumps with clear edges are a sign of light diarrhea. It could also mean that you are experiencing irritable bowel syndrome. The short name for it is IBS. It is a chronic condition which needs long-term treatment. People with IBS can normally control it thanks to a healthy diet and lifestyle. To make it better, Try eating low-fiber foods like bananas, crackers, and potatoes. If you want to find out about the food combinations you should avoid because they are really bad for your health, watch this video. Number 6. If your poop comes in fluffy pieces with ragged edges, it looks like you're having mild diarrhea. Remember how we told you to have more fiber? Well, in this case, it is just the opposite. Maybe there's too much fiber in your diet. Drink more to avoid dehydration and stick to boiled potatoes and bananas. You may want to try some OTC, like Imodium or Pepto-Bismol. They will help to slow down the movement in your intestines and shape more solid stools. If the problem lasts for more than two days, consult a doctor. 
Number 7. Liquid without solid pieces type of feces is what no one likes to say. It speaks of severe diarrhea. This may be a sign of food poisoning, lactose intolerance, bacterial infection, or medicine intake. Antibiotics, heartburn, and acid reflux medications and chemotherapy drugs are often the cause of it. Drink plenty of water to fight dehydration and try over-the-counter medications. Severe diarrhea normally doesn't last long. If the symptoms don't disappear in two days, or if you feel pain and fever, consult a doctor. So, do you take problems with your stools seriously? Do you consult doctors when needed? Feel free to share in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. When it gets 50,000 likes, we'll share another important health-related video. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to see our updates.